Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. HTML, or Hypertext Markup Language, is a terrific export option for Crystal Reports, as HTML documents can be displayed easily on both the Internet and also on corporate intranets as needed. As long as the user has access to the directory to which you will be exporting the results and a web browser, you can export the results as HTML to allow user access. To export a displayed report as HTML, open the report which you wish to export, and then choose either File, Export, and Export Report if you're using Crystal Reports 11, or just choose File and then Export if you're using Crystal Reports 10. Note that you could also click the Export button in the standard toolbar as well. In the Export dialog box, select HTML 4.0 as the export format, and then choose Application from the Destination dropdown. Selecting Application will immediately open the report using your computer's default web browser after you've exported the results as HTML. Just click OK when you're ready to export the results to launch the Select Export File dialog box. In the Select Export File dialog box, you create the directory or folder into which you will export the report results. The HTML report file will be placed into the folder created along with several secondary associated files with the name that you used when you saved it but with the .html file extension versus the .rpt file extension. To decide where to create the specified report directory, use the Drives dropdown to choose a computer drive into which you want to save the results. Double click into the folder shown in the list above the drives into which you want to save the report and you can continue double clicking on the folders within that folder to continue choosing subdirectories as needed. When you've double clicked on the folder into which you want to create the new report folder, just type the name which you want to give to the new folder into the directory name text box. Next, you can change the name of the default web page or HTML file that's created by typing the desired file name into the base file name text box. Typically, this is not necessary as the report will simply use the same name that you used. You can then check the Page Navigator checkbox to create a navigation tool in the web page which the users can use to browse through the pages in the report. You can check the separate HTML pages checkbox to create each page as a separate web page versus creating one long scrolling web page from the report data. If you wish to filter the page range, you can use the Page Range option. You can select either All or Pages, and in this case you would enter the first page number in the From text box and the ending page number in the To text box. Once you've set all the options for HTML publishing as needed, simply click OK to export the selected report as an HTML page and then view it immediately in your computer's default web browser. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.